my mum, a beacon of joy. Her laughter, her spirit, radiant. She lived with adventure and travelled all over the world. Her family, her life. She poured her heart into everything. Baking, gardening, knitting. Her hands always creating, teaching, crafting. Her eyes filled with love. Her hugs, warm and comforting. She was the heart of love for our family. Mum had a knack for storytelling. She painted pictures with her words, tales of her travels and adventures with Dad. She made us laugh, cry and believe. Her stories wove a tapestry of our family history. She instilled in us the importance of being God-fearing and loving the Lord. Her legacy, etching deep into our hearts. Her kitchen, the heart of our home, the aroma of freshly baked treats, a constant. Sunday lunches, a tradition, her roasts, delicious. The table, always laden with food and lots of people sitting around enjoying it. We gathered, shared food and created memories. Those moments priceless now I look back. They echo in the silence she's left behind her as she fades away. Mum taught us the true meaning of family. She is my mother, my confidant, my one person I could talk to openly. Her love, as wide as the ocean. Her wisdom, invaluable. She shaped me into the person I am today. Her absence becoming more prevalent as the days pass. We navigate life now without her, carrying her love in our hearts. Two years ago, the changes were very subtle at first. A forgotten word, a misplaced item. We dismissed them as signs of aging or tiredness, but deep down, I actually knew what it was, but no one listened to me even though I told my father, my brothers because I knew something wasn't right. The doctor's diagnosis on a Tuesday shattered my heart when I heard the words, vascular dementia. Our world tilted on its axis. My father's words faltered, tears welled. Mom's once sharp mind began to fail her. Her memory, like a fading photograph. Names slipped away, conversations became disjointed, Words tangled, frustration etched lines on her face. My heart ached for my mom watching this decline. We clung to hope, literally praying for a miracle. Everyday tasks became insurmountable challenges. Dressing, bathing, eating, remembering to go to the toilet. Simple things, now such a struggle. Her independence slowly stripped away. We all watched, helpless, as the disease tightened its grip. The vibrant woman we knew, fading before our eyes. The light in her eyes dimmed. Her laughter, once frequent, became rare. She seemed lost in a world we couldn't understand or reach. Hopelessness and grief, what can we do? We hated this cruel disease that was stealing our mom away. And so quickly, we yearned for the woman who read us stories and baked us cookies. But she was slipping further away with each passing day. Dad, her rock, her soulmate. He vowed to care for her no matter what. His love, unwavering. He became her protector, her advocate, her voice. He embraced the role of caregiver with fierce dedication. He read books about this disease. He researched it. He has frequent visits to the doctor, consulted friends, and did everything he could to help his best friend. He got equipment and made sure their home was safe and comfortable. He approached each day with a mix of love, patience, and quiet determination. He coaxed her to eat, helped her dress, took her to the toilet, and patiently guided her through each day. He spoke to her with tenderness and loved her even when she didn't recognize him. He played her favorite hymns and Christian songs, read her Bible verses hoping to spark a flicker of recognition. He never complained, never wavered in his devotion. Dad's love for mom was a testament to their marriage vows. He honored their bond, even as the disease tried to erode it. He taught us the true meaning of love, sacrifice, and commitment through his actions. He was an inspiration to us, strength in the face of adversity. That was my dad. Helplessness, a heavy weight that pressed down on me, surreal to say the least. Watching mom disappear piece by piece was horrifying. Each lost memory, each lost word, a heavy pressure on my heart. The intelligent, independent, strong woman I knew,
trapped in a warped prison of her own mind. I visited her every day, clinging to any glimmer of hope that she would just be my mom again. Lucid moments amongst confusion. I told her stories of our family, showed her photos, told her about my life, hoping to spark a memory, a fleeting glimpse of my once strong mom. I held her hand, stroked her hair and rubbed her back, praying strongly that she would remember who I was when I left her to go home. But the disease had written its own story and was ripping my mom away from me. Week by week, she lost so much weight, never hungry or forget she needed to eat. I felt strange for grieving for someone who was still alive, like it wasn't real. I struggled deeply with the unfairness of it all. Why my mom? Why our family? Why? My mom, my dad had done nothing but good in their lives, helped so many people. This slow goodbye is agonizing. My heart is literally torn into pieces. I prayed to the Lord for a miracle, something, even if we could have one last conversation, just one. I yearned for something positive, for a miracle cure. My mom, just one more, I love you Lizzie B. But reality is harsh and unforgiving. We were losing mom, one memory at a time. I love you so, so deeply.